Hey guys, Tammy Trayer, TrayerWilderness.com. The mountain man who is joining me, I can't spin it. He's next to me over here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we are out and about today. We're going to look at a job for our construction business. So I thought I would jump on here and use my time wisely and uh, share with you today, um, day 18 of our November 30 day gratefully prepared challenge. Hey, I'm back. There we go. Okay. Um, today I am grateful for our seasons. Um, I love this time of year. This is one of my favorite times of year. The cool uh, fall air that leads into your nice crisp winters. And we are busy hunting and attaining all of our meat for the year. And uh, the mountain man is trapping this season. And I'm really thankful for that. We will be having a beaver roast tomorrow. And... Uh, He's gotten two beavers so far, and what, four coyotes? Yeah. yeah. So, it's a good start to his season, and I'm really excited for him. I see a bunch of you joining me today. Uh, feel free to share where you're from and what you're thankful for and grateful for today. And today, while we're traveling, I thought we would talk about, um, as far as preparedness goes, um, vehicle preparedness. Uh, with our seasons and our roads and the vastness out here, it's extremely important to be prepared in your vehicles. Uh, we have all trucks at this time, um, and it's really important for us to have our chains and digging bars and shovels, um, bumper jacks, what else? Come alongs, extra chains. Um, I don't know if I said it changed for the tires this time of year. So, you know, when we head out, we try to be very equipped with the equipment we need per season. And some of that stuff you need in the spring, too, because we get such um, wet weather, you know, so it's easy to get stuck. And while we were building our house, we actually got stuck in our driveway, what, two times? Something like that. <laughs> We were like almost axle deep a couple times. It, it was really muddy and we have a lot of clay out here so that adds and contributes to the sloppy mess when it gets wet and rains. So what's the matter? Oh, thanks. Um, so the other thing is what you have inside of your vehicles which is really important and he's going to help me and chime in with this too but one of the things that we do is we carry our packs with us, our day packs, wherever we go. They're always with us um, if we're out on a quad. Um, like with him trapping, he has his equipment with him. If I'm running out in the truck, regardless if it's a beautiful day or not, you never know if the truck's going to break down and if I'm, you know, how far I'm going to be from the house when that happens. So having my day pack with me is always important. Um, we have axes and um, extra water. We carry our stainless steel water bottles. Uh, with us wherever we go also because if we get stranded somewhere we can always use that to boil water to make sure we can stay hydrated. In the winter time you know, sleeping bag, throw a sleeping bag or some blankets in there. Yep. Because it doesn't, you know, doesn't matter. You break down somewhere, you break down somewhere and you might have to sit for quite a while depending on where you're at and what the weather's like you might have to sit for quite a while till you get somebody that would come by um, some places you might actually sit all night long so yeah. you need to have should have something to keep you warm yep. you know just tuck it under your seat and, and don't hurt too to have a little extra you know little container with some uh, like cliff bars or yep, snack, bars. snack bars or whatever you know a little extra something so if you do break down and something happens why you at least have something to eat while you're out there because you never know um and there's situations i was in a situation here um hunting uh about a week and a half ago something like that that if I wouldn't have had my come along along with me there's no way I would have got out um, there's no way I'd have been I mean I hit some snow and it slid off the road and was hanging down over the bank pretty uh, the bank was about that steep and the front front end 
was all hanging down, so I was come, pulling up with the come along in the front. But I had to had to have a chain and cable on the back to keep the back end from sliding down. So, you know, in situations like that, that you need to have have stuff like that to get yourself out because I was back in there pretty good and yeah. yes Tammy knew where I was hunting and that sort of thing but you know it would have been a while till she'd have come looking um, depending on where you're at you know you just say a general area where you're going okay. excuse me so it's good to have a plan too where you're going what you're doing let people know um, but yeah, chains and come alongs, cables, that sort of thing. Space blanket too. Thought yeah. of that. Uh, non reusable space blanket and a uh, reusable space blanket are great to have. The non reusable ones fit in your back pocket, so it makes it really nice. So when I'm out hiking and stuff by myself or with the dogs, I'll take that with me because that enables me to. Uh, keep myself warm if something were to happen and like I said it fits in my back pocket it fits in my wallet so it's a great thing to have the reusable ones are awesome um, they have so many purposes uh, we use them sometimes for you know a mat other times you know you can use it for the bottom of underneath your sleeping bag you know there's and and make a shelter out of it there's all kinds of things you can do with them so it's really good and it keeps will help you with hyperthermia and and such so Another thing to keep in mind is chia seeds are something that you can keep in your pack and in your vehicle. Um, a tablespoon of chia seeds will uh, sustain you for 24 hours. Now, they may not have the best flavor, but what happens with the chia seed is they um, expand. So they will expand in your digestive system and in your stomach and uh, give you that feeling of being full. So. That is a great thing to have that doesn't take up a lot of room. And just something else I put in my day packs as well as in our, our uh, multi-day survival packs is um, gardening seeds, non-GMO gardening seeds. Um, that way I, ha I can plant something. If, if we're out and something goes really drastic and it turns into a long-term situation, I have something that I can plant to provide food for my family as well as foraging. Not necessarily something you need in your truck, though. But. No, but it's in my pack. So I was talking about that. What's in my pack? And I, I'll, maybe we'll do that a day, and I'll show you what all I have in my day pack. Good point, though. But I'm just thinking about food. Maybe I'm hungry. Probably. <laughs> but anyway, having those things with you in your vehicle when you head out, and like you said, having a plan is like so extremely important because you never know what's going to happen, uh, and really folks the vastness out here a couple years back we had taken some older friends out hunting what's the matter you're gonna soon lose yeah service. i'm gonna i'm gonna probably go out for a little bit here we're hitting a dead spot in the mountain and i don't know if this is gonna hang on or i'm gonna have to come back on 